But do you, but you still consider yourself a Democrat? I will be changing that. I'm a lifelong Democrat. Uh, my family comes from the candy Democrats, and I will be voting for Trump this election. Norma, did you watch the Democrats last week? No, I did not. I couldn't be bothered watching them. I want to tell you also that we were life. We're from Massachusetts, and we were lifelong. And my parents were Democrats, but we're not anymore. We're rep Republicans. America, uh, to me, is freedom of speech is the biggest one that the Democrats have just lost me on. They've been attacking it. Um, you know, they, they keep preaching that they're the party of love and tolerance, but you got to read the fine print. That's only if you believe as they do. You know, and and that's not the way we are in this country. If I hate every word coming out of your mouth, I'm going to fight right next to you to make sure you get to say it. That's what America's about, and they just don't get it. America needs to stay as America. I'm very upset with everything that's going on in this country, and I've been a registered Democrat for many years, and this is I'm done. <laughs> I'm ready to I need a change. I've uh, been in the Democratic Party for a long time and see the way that the direction of the country is headed. Um, I want America to stay a place that is free, that is pro-business, that is less regulation, that stands for freedom, that stands for defense of our nation. Um, and I see it going a different way with the, the Joe Biden potential. God bless Donald Trump. I used to be a Democrat. Until I, wa I didn't vote for Donald Trump in 2016, but after they attacked him so brutally, I said, they're not even giving him a chance. And he's fighting for America every day. I've switched completely. I am now Republican, voting Republican all the way. No more Democrat for me. He and, and Helen, who did you vote for in 2016? Well, I, I didn't vote for Trump, but I am now, most definitely. I've been a New Yorker for over 20 years, and I am so tired of the crime here. I am tired of what's going on here. I think this whole speech tonight with everyone was just right on point. I'm tired of I'm just tired of being tired, and I think everybody in the United States feels the same way that I feel. We are tired of feeling tired. Jennifer, who did you support in 2016? In 2016, I supported Hillary Clinton. And over the last four years, your, your uh, views have changed? My views have changed. I, I'm, I'm a single mom. I have a daughter in New York. Um, she's 12 years old. She's going to be 13. I work with, candidly, I was a Hillary voter. And so for me, I, I bought into a lot of stereotypes about him. Um, but I can't deny the ability that, or the, um, the results that they've had with the economy. And candidly, security is an issue I care very much about. And I, I don't feel safer. Um, with all the lawlessness going on. It's really got the, the riots that's going on, what's happening in California and all these countries, I mean, all these, these states and cities, it's just, is that what we really want? I don't think so. That's... I, I, it, it's just, it's amazing how the Democratic Party has changed. And the Republican Party and, the, and Donald Trump is the one who's going to take this country and make it better, like he said, and... I'm just, just so impressed. I mean, leaning towards Trump is school choice. I do think there's a lot of, uh, not talk about the Democrats, talk about structural racism, but I really don't think they're addressing it. I don't really recognize my party anymore. And that has really upset me as a lifelong Democrat. And I, I, my principles as a traditional Democrat seem to, to lean towards Trump, which is ironic, but my heart just tells me that. Uh, I'm, I'm, Living in the suburbs of Chicago, and I'm extremely disturbed at what's going on in the city. I feel like the city is totally lost, along with the state. It's very disappointing. And uh, I really have no idea who even votes for Democrats anymore. I think they're just a huge disappointment. Uh, I come from a long line of Democrats, but I have to say I switched parties because I'm so impressed by what our, what our president did. And tonight's, the whole RNC was wonderful. 
I think Democrats really have to take a look at what has happened to them, how they switched their focus, how they don't stand up for what the American people really stand for. And Melania and everyone who spoke tonight were just excellent. It, they spoke what the real true Americans are. Yes, um, I was originally a Democrat back in my teens when I registered. I am now going to be voting for Donald Trump. These past two days has given us hope in such perilous times. I am so happy to be voting for Trump. I am so happy that people are waking up to the leftist agenda and what they're truly about. This is about liberty. This is about freedom and taking our country back. The way that this Democrat Party has gone to the extreme left has completely uh, uh, it's appalling. I am not that. I am not that. And I will vote for Mr. Trump because I do not want the police defunded. I do not stand for those post office lies that the Democrats are spreading because none of the, what he said, none of what they accused this person from the post office is true. And also, why are we not, why are we getting, everybody's going to vote by mail. Why? I have an ID. I am not stupid. I'm an immigrant. I am able to provide an ID. Everybody should be able. If I was going, I'm going to the, to the store, I wear a mask, I can go shopping, then I can go vote. So, Laura, um, you, you're calling on the Democrats' line, but you didn't have anything good to say about them. No, not at all. Not at all. Like I told this lady who answered the phone, I was a Democrat. I'm not longer a Democrat. They are, they are communists. They're socialists. And that is not what this country is. I love the United States. I am an immigrant. I left my country because socialism destroyed my parents' business. And I will not stand for that. And I'm telling you this, if my life has to be put in the middle and, you know, given up for it, I will. I'm a Democrat, and our convention last week uh, uh, is no comparison to what I've seen in just the last two nights. What do you mean? I'm from Minnesota, where all these riots and looting and the burning started. And, I, I mean, not a mention about us last week about saving our communities, helping our homeless, rebuilding our businesses. And this convention just in the last two nights has, has awakened me that there is hope, that there are people that are willing to fight for us people in our communities. Barb, are you, in the, are you in the Twin Cities area or outside? In the, in the Twin Cities, and uh, right outside the Twin Cities. Has some of the protests, have they frightened you? Yeah, oh, absolutely. They've been, you know, seven miles away with a, a new um, John Johnson of our party going into a neighborhood with 200 of Black Lives Matter supporters and terrorizing innocent neighbors in a community. It, it is scary.